They're the only NBA 2K League team to make the playoffs in all three seasons. They had the best record in the NBA 2K League in each of the first two seasons. They had two MVPs. But this year, Blazer 5 Gaming will have an entirely new roster of six players. Why the sudden rebuild? I'm Jeff Eisenband, and this is Behind the Screens. We got eSports Operations Manager Cameron McAleese, and of course, player for Blazer 5 Gaming, Goofy. Cameron, you've been with this team a few years. You've seen it through. No player on 2021 Blazer 5 Gaming is returning from a past team. Why the change up? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a big change, um, big, you know, a bigger change than any any team in the NBA 2K League is used to. Um, I think after three seasons, you know, we didn't we didn't get the results that we were really looking for. Um, I think to an extent, the team as a whole was probably pretty burnt out. You know, we, we had the same core for three years and we kept trying and kept trying and kept trying. And, um, you know, it's the definition of insanity at some point. If you, you try the same thing over and over and you expect different results, we felt like it was kind of the right time to really focus on rebuilding. Um, there were a lot of really talented individuals that were going to be moved this past off season. And so it all kind of aligned, um, you know, get guys, guys like Goofy, you know, are not moved every single season or shouldn't be. <laughs> and so now Goofy over here, we can see behind him that Knicks poster. I mean, this, there was a championship season in season one. This league will always have its critics out there. And there have been people that have said, you know, it didn't work with you in the, with the Knicks in season two. It didn't work with the Grizz in season three. In terms of you specifically, you know, what do you have to prove this season? You always got the critics out there, uh, you know, Wherever I go, I'm always gonna take the blame. That's just that just comes with it. That's just how it's gonna go. But um, you know, all I can do is just keep pushing. You know, keep playing the game, keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, you know, God know how much work I put in. My family know how much work I put in. It was just two unfortunate seasons. Like, seasons I can't get back. Uh, you know, I can either let that hold me back, or I can just keep pushing forward. And uh, the way I was raised. I'm Pushing forward in a Cameron, you guys decided this offseason you're the only team with no draft picks. You're the only team that went out there and said, we're just getting our roster and going with it. Was that a strategy on purpose or something that just the way these trades developed, how you guys ended up going? Yeah, I I said from the get-go, I think this is even in season two when I had talked to people internally about, you know, whether or not we were willing to move Dane or Nadal. Um I, I'd always said if I was going to move Dana Nadal, I wanted to move them for quite literally an entire team. That was the goal. <laughs> so um, I'm pleasantly surprised that my, you know, my valuation to the two of them was was correct and I was able to move them for an entire team. How hard was it for you and the staff in Portland to part ways with Mama and Wanda? Uh, it's it's hard, you know. Um, you think you you've really built. I mean, from from the franchise's inception we've built everything around the two of them you know go back you know branded content non-branded content um you know photos videos ever i mean social media everything I mean, like they've been such a big part of everything that we've done for the last three years um you know i can't thank the two of them enough they've been a huge part of of, of our franchise um, the first three years um you know nadal especially as a leader for the team for the last three years has been a big part of of some of the decisions we've made um yeah it's 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 difficult it's difficult but i couldn't be more excited to have a, a you know a great group of six guys that we're bringing to portland this year and goofy for you you've been in the league this is this is now you're starting your fourth season what's different about season one goofy to now in terms of what you know about being a professional in this league uh i'll, I'll probably have the same uh my attitude uh my attitude has has grown uh tremendously and uh also my leadership has grown tremendously uh, i've been through the ups and the downs so um you know out of my out of my four years that's what i learned uh leadership and composure and accountability and my attitude that's what i learned so how do you take that to a new squad in portland and and put that into play uh you know um that starts off just by being myself man uh you know, I gotta go in there and I gotta be goofy. Uh, it's just that simple. Uh, I gotta be me. You mean the name part of you, not not being a jokester, is what you're saying? Yeah, man. Whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it, but I just gotta be me. All right, to both you guys, good luck on draft day. We still we'll see if anything happens with this six-man roster on draft day, and good luck with the season. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate Thanks. that.